welcome to Miss Jennifer's makeshift speech room. The last time we were together, we were looking at different types of books, um, books that we could target a language expression as well as pre-literacy. I wanted to show you an example of myself working with a child who is under the age of three, um, targeting verbal expression, uh, motor planning, and pre-literacy. Please stay tuned after the video to do a fun activity targeting the concepts and the theme of the story. I hope you enjoy. Please might sting your nose. <laughs> yep, tell her, don't eat that apple. Wooly, tell, tell me, turn, page. Uh -huh. Whoa, that feels fun. The birds might peck your toes. Peck, 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 oh, peck, no. peck. Peck, 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 peck. Those are the thistles. Ooh. Say, don't Peck. eat those thistles. Peck. Yeah. Ooh. Why do you call them no, thistles? Not the, the, not the shoe again. Here, can I put it on your foot? Give me your chin for help. I'm going to help you. There you go. Oh, don't peek. Don't peek at the next there page. There it's on. <gasps> Got it on. Tell me, turn. The. Uh-huh. This feels like hot. They ball. might prickle your ears. Let's prickle them. Prickle, prickle, prickle. Prickle, 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 prickle. And don't uh, eat uh, that uh, wooly. I wonder what it is. Let's say turn. Page. <gasps> Oh, it's the bunny's fluffy tail. Oh, it's the bunny's fluffy tail. He was going to eat the bunny's fluffy tail. No. Uh, no, no. no. This. Yes, tell him, eat the grass. Yeah, Wooly, it's nice and safe. Well, there's no bumblebees. Yes. <laughs> what do we say when we close the book? We say the end. end. Can you show me where there's a word? Where is there a word? Letters make words. Here's the pictures, and here's the words right here. Woolies walk. Mm -hmm. That's the word. All the letters. Oh, look. I have a woolly. There's woolly. his wool. You want to help me pull? Pull, Wooly. Pull. Pull, Wooly. You got some Wooly fur. We need to give Wooly some fur. Some I don't got wool. that much fur. You're going to have to help, Marley, because I ran out of pictures. I didn't copy enough. See? This is called Wooly Lamb. I wanted to show you how you could make a Wooly from the example in that story. Um, I used uh, a plate. You can use any size plate. I used a larger clear plate because I was out of um, just the plain white ones. Um, you could use a small one or any style that you wanted. Um, I got a small or a half of a piece of a construction paper and a cup. And you can, again, depending on the size of your plate, uh, you can trace a circle like so. And as you can see my circle, you need some scissors. Moms and dads, you'll have to help out with this. We can around our circle and you'll need cotton balls or stuffing or whatever you have in your house you might have pom-poms and this is a really good sensory activity especially as you can see I was targeting skills with an OT 
um, and you can pull, pull, pull. Now again, if you have glue, this kind of glue works better than the glue sticks or tape. You can glue all around your plate, all around, so you can cover up your plate and you glue on. Again, you want to do the pull, pull and pat, pat all the way around. Now your circle is going to be your face. You may have, as Miss Jennifer does, uh, Google eyes, which I'm feeling them in the bottom of this bag, but you don't have to use Google eyes. You could do smaller circles, like the size of a nickel or a dime, and cut those out for eyes. I use Google eyes for my eyes. And if you want, you can make a nose or a mouth. You could use little pom-poms, or I used a heart sticker, um, and I used the rest of the paper to make ears, and I even put on a pretty bow. And here is your woolly lamb. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for coming to my speech. I love you.